It gives new meaning to man's or woman's best friend. A couple from Mainville is among the first in the tri-state to get a dog that detects symptoms of diabetes. Medical reporter Liz Bonus introduces us to Duncan in today's Medical Edge. He's not a pet, but a service dog who contributes to the life of Kathy Lincoln in a big way. What Duncan's trained to do is she detects both a high and low blood sugar, and it's all based on smell. Duncan, named after the doctor who diagnosed Kathy's diabetes, is trained as a diabetes dog. Years ago, Kathy had tumors that developed on her pancreas. They had to go in and remove three quarters of my pancreas. Wow. So uh, at that point, I became type 1 diabetic. Yeah. Since then, she's had big swings in blood sugars she didn't even feel until they hit dangerous levels. Now? When she's high, she'll put a paw right on her knee or wherever she can reach to. If she's low, she'll touch her with her nose. The meter, which Duncan is trained to go and get, tells her how high or low, but... If the dog can actually pick it up about 20 minutes or so before the meter tells you where you're at. Even if Kathy is working or sleeping, Duncan doesn't miss much. She will paw me. She will paw me harder. She will jump on me. She will bark. Duncan is still a puppy and in training, but soon he'll get some high-tech help with a special phone that will even alert other paramedics if there's an emergency. This is a picture of that phone, courtesy of ablephone.com. There'll be an, a, a recording on there saying that the dog is dialing the phone, that there is a diabetic mm -hmm. emergency at this residence. What's Kathy looking forward to most? The one thing I'm really, really looking forward to is she will be able to alert me when I'm driving. Right now I don't drive because I'm not comfortable. Eventually she will let me know I can pull off the road, take care of things, and get back on the road. I'm safe and everyone around me is safe. Yeah. Now do you get why all dogs go to heaven? In Mainville, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. It's about $20,000 to train a dog, so if you can donate to Duncan's Fund or help with training other diabetes dogs, it is a tax-deductible donation. And we have a link on local12.com.